Hi everyone, this is Leadhead, and I'm coming out with my shave of the day for today. Let's see, it's October 27, 2017. And I did want to say thank you for joining me for the shave today. I definitely do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I'm definitely doing a lot better. I was sick earlier in the week, and uh, I feel like I'm pretty much over it by now. So, yep, it was a long week, busy day today for me. Glad it's over. I usually like to take a few walks today, and I didn't even get outside once. So, and I... Really didn't have any time after work either to do it. So, tomorrow. <laughs> There's always tomorrow, right? Procrastinators unite tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to uh, this, sh this shave today. Uh, I'm going to continue using the samples that Blind Man Shaves Billy Curtis sent me. So thanks again, Billy. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, he sent me a whole bunch of OSP soaps. That's the Obsessive Soap Perfectionist. And uh, I was watching some videos earlier today, and Flash Boredom mentioned that he liked the grapefruit and menthol uh, OSP soap, and I actually have a sample of that. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go with that. So that's what I did. So uh, here's uh, the soap here. I whipped it up in this bowl. So I got quite a bit there. Like I said, you can, you know, a good amount. I still got some of the sides there and stuff. You just knock that out because I'm not going to use that at all, probably. So, but yeah, so that's the soap I'm going to be using here. Then the brush, this is my Haircut and Shave Co. 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot here with this uh, faux ivory handle. I really like these. Uh, I got the other one too, the with the barber pole handle. They're both real. These knots are nice. They've got a good weighted handle. I like them a lot. They're on Haircut and Shave Co. on Amazon.com. Definitely check them out. So that's the soap and the brush. And the uh, razor I'm going to be using today, again, watching another video, uh, since he shaves, I was using his uh, Gillette Slim Adjustable, and he mentioned that how much I liked it. So I was like, you know what, might as well. <laughs> so I got my Gillette Slim Adjustable here. It's a 1964. And it's, uh, yeah, I definitely do like this a lot. It's a real nice razor. It gives a great shave. And uh, what I've been doing with it, I've been uh, just pretty much sticking with uh, setting 9 on this. And uh, <clears throat> pretty much doing all three passes with that. So I think I'll be doing that. You know, if I want to, if I feel that I want to lower the setting or whatever, I'll do that. But if not, I'll stick with setting nine. We'll see how it goes. It's pretty smooth for me. So, so that's the uh, hardware here. Some of the software. Then on the aftershave side, uh, since this is grapefruit, grapefruit menthol, I figure stay with the menthol theme here. I use this uh, Barbasol Brisk. This is uh, real nice. The scent doesn't really go too great with it, but it's got a great menthol kick, so I figured I'd go with this. And then the uh, ball I'm using is going to be the old Nivea Men Cream. And, yep, look at that. It's really getting down there. So I'll put maybe a dozen more uses on that, and then it's going to be done, but I get another one. And I might even get a different Nivea uh, balm, like they actually have those uh, actual ones for shaving. So. And I heard those those are nicer. So that's gonna be so that's the uh, hardware and the software. So we can go ahead and get this shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, get a little more hot water in the face here. Just get it, you know, the scruff here a little softened up. Help along with the shave. Okay, that's good. Bring this right to the face. Oh, lost a little bit there. Here, it went on the wall. I'm gonna grab it. But I had a little bit of, it's like a little wedge of soap that didn't quite squish down the bowl good. That's okay. Yeah, it's a nice uh, grapefruit. It's real nice. That's the first time I've uh, smelled the grapefruit in the soap. And yep, I can smell the menthol there too, and it's starting to get down the face a bit. Feeling the effects. Today wasn't necessarily a, a warm day to need the menthol. I think it was like around 60, the high. In the 30s in the morning, so it's 
about that time of the year. I got we were getting we got too lucky. For the rest of the month to have nice weather. But November is coming now and you know that's how it goes this time of year. Put a little water on it. lather here and this but that's not too cold it's real nice it just cools you down just a little bit but the real light pleasant uh, smell here or scent not too heavy got a little soap in the nose of course that's how she goes But yeah, it's real nice stuff. It's got a nice uh, thick lather here going on. Probably put a little more, more water. So that's looking pretty dang good. I think I'll go with this for now. It's just so dang fun building up the leather. Okay. So first pass going with the grain here. It's down for me. Yeah, not bad. Shark blade here. Uh, honestly, not the smoothest, but not bad. I would definitely say. The aggression on the razor is helping with the blade. You know, if they're not that sharp, you can always make them a little more aggressive, and that helps them a bit. It also could be too that. I got some good growth here around three, four days, I think three. So that's not doing the razor any and the blades any favor either. Cause I have really coarse hair. It's rough. Yeah, the soap seems to be working out pretty well for the uh, performance-wise. Like it's, man, it's got a nice, uh, the face is feeling nice and cool. Definitely liking that. Okay, so we'll go back for pass number two here. Dip up a little more soap. Got plenty in this bowl here. Might as well use it. Okay, so let's go apply on for... Oh, man, my face is cold now. <laughs> yeah, this is real nice. 
this is a good, I hardly even have to build up any suds now. It's a good consistency. I believe the uh, owner of OSP is on a temporary hiatus or something along those lines right now. There was a, I think he even said in one of my older videos that he and uh, Mason Boutique were going out of business or just not making their own anymore. I know Mason Boutique is still making shows just for Strike Gold Shave. And I think I saw on Facebook that he was like, just a temporary thing. He's not going to, it's not permanent, I think. So, pretty good to hear. Okay, so second pass, I'm going to go across the grain. Poor Cincy. Nailed his lip. Going across here. I saw. Well, that's how she goes sometimes. I think I can see what he did. He was kind of going like this. Over here, just on this side. And as he was going like this, he had his lips out and he nicked. So, yeah. <coughs> That's right, hey, you know, happens to all of us. I got a real bad one right here. I've been doing something like this before with my old type. Although I will blame that on Williams mug shaving soap. It's just, I don't know how people call it slick. I just don't think it's slick at all. Because I remember I was like extracting the soap out and put it on the face, just do a couple pickups. And I just, you know, was like, whoop, and <laughs> caught, you know, and so mad. But I'm still mad about it. <laughs> So if I use that soap again, I'm not using the old type with it. I'll have to use something different. Because that is an aggressive razor. I'm not gonna go. Can't really go across the grain. My quarters here it just doesn't. I don't know. My neck doesn't seem to contour quite how I want it to. So stick with what works. Okay. Man, good shave so far. This is a great soap. Real nice. The last time I the last time I used the OSP was the cream. That was the first time I used the cream. So this is the first time I'm using the OSP soap. But nice, yeah, boy, this is a nice menthol. I really like menthol soap. It makes your face feel great. Okay, so applying some more here, and here is look at this, look at that. good amount there. So I can just boom. Yep, man, it's just apply it. It feels like you put an ice cube on the face or something. You know, and I really couldn't tell you the sense or the strength of the menthol. I only can go against, uh, yeah, I only have a uh, Parasso Green soap to compare against. I would probably say this is colder than Parasso, though. I would actually say that I think this, uh, Barbasol Brisk and this are pretty close to the strength in uh, the menthol coldness. But again, another video. Rick the Stick just put up a video where he got in the uh, Sterling Glacial Wintergreen. And he was saying, wow, it was so cold. <laughs> one of these days I'll have to try one of those super ventilated, like, what's up, cryogen that Blind Man Shays Billy has, <laughs> or something along those lines, just to try them out. Everybody says it makes you tear up and your sinuses are cleared. We'll see. <laughs> Third pass, we'll go uh, against the grain, why not?
trying to be very gentle down the bottom of my neck there. It's such a weird spot for me. Yeah, that should hopefully cover it. Okay, and again, right here, this is always a weird... Where some of my hair is just so thick, like the razor blade gets hung up on it. It's so like it doesn't want to move forward. I don't want to put too much pressure, so you know I try to do it as lightly as I can, and you know, but while you know while cutting at least. I thought it was cool too. Uh, my wife and I last this past weekend we went to uh, Home Good. Just came to the, the the mall near us. We stopped in, kind of check it out, you know, just see what it's all about. And I saw some magnifying mirrors there that were pretty inexpensive, like maybe around fifteen bucks or something like that. So maybe one of these days I'll have to look into get one of those. The Kind of, you know, put here or something like that just to, you know, get a little better look at, you know, what you're doing at certain, you know, maybe behind the head while I'm head shaving and stuff like that. So we'll see. That's a, a want, not necessarily a need. So and I'd definitely rather get like another razor or soap before I get that. There's always just a couple spots there that I don't want to. I'm trying to be careful going against the grain. Just because they're cruising for a nick or something. So well, feeling good though. Nice. Nice post shave feel. Nice slickness still. Definitely liking it. My nose is running a bit now because it's good menthol on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab this off a bit here. I'm going to apply a little bit more. Look how much I, I still have. A ton there. I could have. I could have really went for it. <laughs> I could have really had some Santa Claus beard going on if I wanted. But I'll just, uh, you know, put on some here. And feel around. Right there. Next, pretty good. Focus a little more attention here. I don't know, I think that's going to be a good, so I'm going to get it. I may just do one, it's over on the neck. Just to get there. That's always like a weird spot. Okay, so I'll wipe a little bit of this off. Boy, that was a nice shave, I can tell you. That felt really good. You know, I might just want to hit this real quick. 
You can't the razor in the shaving cream. Looking good. Just uh, sometimes you can see him, you don't feel him. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna just put a little wa cold water in my face, just close the pores again here. Time to change, really. I was telling me some stuff, but other than that, that's not all. I might attribute that stinging here, just like I said. It's pretty <clears throat> rough, like if I'm going against the rain, it, the blade likes to cat. It just like doesn't want to go through the hair there. And like I said, that's in a pretty aggressive setting. I don't think that blade is the sharpest for me, but not hey. Okay, so we have that. Now we'll go ahead and uh, put on some of this uh, aftershave here. So go back into the cold. Barbasol Brisk. That's pretty nice stuff. stuff too. I think I thought this was around four it's around two bucks for this at a dollar general I think that's the only place you can find it though so if you're looking for it okay and while that's drying off here I'll just go through what we used again for the shave here so the brushed haircut and shave co brush here you can find that on Amazon soap OSP grapefruit and menthol super nice I like that a lot I still got a little little bit left I can try I can use again so nice the razor, the Gillette Slim Adjustable, with a shark blade in here, second use. Razor did great. Blade, yeah. I could probably get another use out of it though. And the aftershave here is the Barbasol Brisk. It's real nice. And the bomb we're gonna be using is the Nivea Cream. Do a little finger work there. Rub it in the little hands. Oof. Dang, that's a great shave. Feels awesome. You know, I don't know if it's baby book too, but it's a damn fine shave to me. That works great. Just wash this off here quick. Excellent. So that was a great shave. Definitely, uh, definitely liked it a lot. Really like, really liking this OSP. Pretty good stuff. We'll have to. And once I get through these, I'll have to maybe look into getting some. That's how it goes, you know? It's nice to use these samples. I really haven't tried samples before. I've always had to kind of go blind into you know, a tub. I guess I didn't have to, but I wanted to. <laughs> I just wanted the, the big tub. But, you know, hey, not bad. Okay, so that concludes the shave of the day for today. So I did want to say thank you for watching. I definitely do appreciate that. If you do uh, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching those as well. Again, appreciated. Uh, please like and comment below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.